I have decided the next faction that I'm going to try when I do Heroes of My Magic 3 the board game. So I'm going to do Rampart. So I'll go through a quick unboxing and new elements that this expansion box adds to the game. The following components are in the Rampart expansion. Seven map tiles, one starting tile, three far tiles, two near tiles, and one center tile. One town board. A mission book, which includes the solo campaign and other modes and maps. One player's aid. Two hero models. Seven unit models consisting of a centaur, dwarves, elves, pegasi, dendroids, unicorns, and the gold dragon. A double sided hero card, which is Gem, a hero of magic, and Galu. A hero of might who looks like he just got out of the shower with his portrait getting taken. Seven double sided unit cards. Seven town building tiles. Two neutral unit cards. I'm keeping these face down because I'm just going to mix them into my regular campaign. I have no idea what they are. Three astrologers proclaim cards. Eight artifact cards, twenty spell cards, four ability cards, six specialty cards, twelve war machine cards, seven statistic cards. The composition of those is one attack card, three defense cards, one power card, and two knowledge cards. Three one gold, three three gold, and three ten gold tokens, making up nine gold tokens. Three one building materials and three three building materials, making up six building materials tokens. Three one valuable and one three valuables tokens, making up four valuables tokens. The Rampart Faction's Build, Population, and Spellbook tokens, a Morale token, and finally 10 black and 20 green acrylic cube tokens for a total of 30 tokens. I guess they're cubes, not tokens. Introduced in this set is a new type of card called a Permanent Card. The Permanent Cards have this infinity symbol right here. And they are cards that either provide you with a bonus or have a condition waiting to be met. When you play a permanent card, place it in front of you. It stays there until you either discard it or replace it with another permanent card. A hero may only have one card of this type at a time. And note that when a permanent card is in play, you can still use its effects, either the basic or the expert if it has it. But remember, they do not stack. If you use the expert effect, do not add it to the basic effect. Included in the Rampart tiles, there are several new locations. There's the town and the settlement. There's the sawmill mine. And there's also trading posts and war machine factories. War Machine. This new type of cards can be obtained from the war machine factory or the trading post. If you decide to buy the war machine from the trading post, it will cost three more gold as compared to its price at the war machine factory. Also, if you buy it at the trading post, that is the only action you can take while on the trading post. Place the War Machine deck within reach of all players during setup. Here's the breakdown of the card. We've got the name, the effect, the War Machine factory cost, and the trading post cost. Those are the features you can find in the Rampart expansion for the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 board game.